So this takes us uh, to the end of this uh, Frogan's Technology Conference, and I will ask Amori, 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 uh, who is in the dark, and Alain Martel as well, to join us on the stage, because Amori, Alain, and Alexis, whom we uh, saw earlier, are the threesome board of directors of um, OP3FT. So as they uh, opened the uh, proceedings, it would be nice if they could uh, conclude. Uh, I mean, the board of directors uh, could uh, include nine members, so we're the three founding members, but there's room for more. I knew that if there were any others, I would have met them. Now, as the board of directors at OP3 is nothing secret, they meet uh, on a regular basis, and the board of directors, the decisions they make for the progress of the progress technology, uh, everybody is aware of, we are all aware of, uh, in, our, in the team, and we even contrib con contribute to uh, the uh, decisions because we very often come to um, present the state of progress of the Frogman's technology and the board of directors uh, takes, uh, makes its decisions uh, in full knowledge of uh, the work of the team. So thank you, Anna Martel. Thank you for coming to conclude this conference. You are a member of this uh, BOD, but also could you introduce yourself and the role that you play uh, at op 3 ft So uh, good evening to all of you. First of all, I'm, I'm delighted because uh, for a long time I was living just next door, so it's a great pleasure for me to be back on the scene of my early crimes. Also, um, uh, I was an early user of Frogans, you know, uh, because in those days I was working in the stock exchange in Paris at the Bourse de Paris and on the extranet that we had made available to listed companies. Uh, I met actually Alexei in a previous life and former life, and we had set up this uh, technology at the time, and I very much uh, liked it at the time. Then I lost sight of him, and but I knew that with Amori uh, uh, working hard on this uh, project, I would meet him one day. And there's, uh, um, you know, one day there was a conference about governments, and he told me what OP3FT was doing, uh, the, the creation of this structure to make this uh, technology available on the internet with the whole challenge it involved, because it's quite ambitious, it must be said. At the same time, it's, uh, it's great because, as we heard yesterday, it's French for the time being. For once, something French in this uh, Anglo-American universe, uh, it's uh, nice to see some Frenches uh, uh, playing a little part of the game. So I'm in charge of um, promoting um, um, good um, best practices in terms of uh, compliance. So when I was asked to take part in uh, this board of directors, I accepted because that's also part of the project to have this this um, uh, spirit, the state of mind to make a technology available to the community of internet users in the world, the whole world, with quite a number of challenges because if you need to translate a from into um, Chinese and other languages, it is quite a feat. So we have a rather lively and uh, many boards of directors. I'm certain I, I hear that you've had already 38 boards of directors in two years of time. So more than once a month, and also it's uh, it's uh, it's, a, it's something that you volunteer to do. It's not a, a, a paid job. <laughs> and, and, uh, no, but uh, you know, I learn, I learn. So uh, it, it keeps me up to date with the technology and uh, all its related issues. For instance, yesterday I was reading in a, a newspaper that. Uh, Quarel uh, did the same work to obtain its uh, domain name, and uh, in I was reading this and I thought, well, I know what's at stake when you want to have a domain name. And in this new world that is currently uh, emerging, thank you, Alain. Amori, over to you, if you want to conclude, give you...
Yes, I'd also like to thank Alain. As you said, Julie, there were 38 board meetings that were held, and Alain is always available. Secondly, Alain reminds us of, of uh, uh, the practices in private companies with AIFA in France, but you also met Sebastien Batelet, but at OP3FT we also speak about good governance in endowment funds, associations, and corporations, and I hope that that is of interest to you in the time you devote to us at OP3FT. Thank you, anyway, for the time that you devote to this project. It will be easy to conclude a big word of thanks. Thanks to all those who came yesterday and today for this first Forgans Technology Conference. The zero 01 is not dynamic, but it will certainly switch to zero 02, and I will tell you when. I'd also like to thank all those who followed us online, because we will set up constantly live streaming for our conferences on the internet. Let me remind you once again, in our bylaws, we are obliged to make our resources available for the greatest numbers, free of charge and simply. Julie, I hope you have all the rights of the uh, copyrights. I'm turning to my guests. Well, anyway, we plan to make the various themes presented on both evenings available so that people around the world can also take part in this launching. I would like to thank our master of ceremony, Jean Emmanuel. And Jean Emmanuel told me yesterday apart from how excited you are about the project, all the members of the OP3FT team, because we preferred this format, because we didn't necessarily have any ideas at the outset to propose how we could bring you into this project so that you could subsequently grasp things fully. But we said the, uh, for the launching, it was important for the internet people on the internet to present people who actually work day in, day out, and not just commentators who are neutral. So it was an employee of OP3FT who rose to this challenge. Thank you so much, and thanks to the entire team. And there are operators as well who are ready to devote time to both conferences, to these two conferences. Thank you, Tom, with uh, Twitter. We had the H tag as well. I didn't say it yesterday. Tonight, but to, anyway, the next conference with Alexi, we said it took us 10 years to organize the first one, so rest reassured. If you found it interesting, we won't wait for 10 years for the next one. We will be at the scale of the internet. The next conference should be held in September and October, in actual fact. For us, as Romuald said, well, we will have conferences as regularly as possible. Streamed, you may come live or watch it over the internet, and you're always welcome to share with us the information that we make available to you. I'd like to thank our guests and speakers and the project in my eyes, but there's Matthew over there. Thank you, Sebastian. Stefan, I can see you as well. Okay, our friend over there, Jean-Francois. If I forget everyone, I apologize. Alain, okay, that's done. I'd like to thank the technicians, too, for the lighting and all the work. And thank you, Camille, for passing the slides. And he's also a legal expert at the same time. It's a big word of thanks to all of you. And one thing I'd like to add, Alexi, you should have uh, frowned at me. If you want to keep abreast of what's happening with this project proactively, or if you'd like to wait for the information to come to you, we have mailing lists. So you have mailing lists at frogans.org, if I'm not mistaken. Mailing list, mailing list, list. No, list.forgans.org, where you can register. There's a list called Announcements, where we put most information when someone from the team is traveling within the uh, 
uh, ecosystem for an event in June, for example, in London. Whenever there are new specifications coming out, we're there. So we have that list. There's also an early question list to which you can register. The list will enable people to ask their questions. And in the bylaws, there's the idea that you must answer all questions put. And we try to answer everyone at the same time so all registered persons can obtain an answer. We normally answer quickly, so it's convenient. See you soon, and thank you once again.